Welcome to chapter eight, the final chapter of Cypress Academy Wicked Wi-Fi 101. Just because it's the final chapter of 101, don't despair. I'll be making more videos about more wicked things in the future. When I teach this class in person, we assign a class project so that students can practice pulling together all of the different concepts and skills that are taught in lessons one through seven. You know, creating a new project, interacting with the peripherals using GPIOs, I2C, etc., using the RTOS features, writing to the display using the U8G library, parsing JSON messages, connecting to Wi-Fi, setting up a connection using TLS security, getting data to and from the cloud. Remember, MQTT, HTTP, yeah, all of that stuff. We like to put it together. For the final project, we have the students design an IoT weather station. Here's what it looks like when it's completed. The Wicked device reads the temperature and humidity and ambient light from the PSOC on the shield. It then displays the value on the screen along with the name of the IoT thing, the name and IP address that is assigned to the device when it connects to the network. It connects to the cloud and sends updated weather information every 30 seconds. Here, you can see what the information looks like on the Amazon Web Services site. The information is shown as a thing shadow, which is just a JSON document. Remember, we talked about parsing JSON documents in chapter four. The user interface uses a mechanical button to send weather information to the cloud when it's pressed so that you don't have to wait for a 30 second update interval. The other mechanical button toggles a weather alert that is shown on the display and it's also sent to the cloud. Since we have multiple students in the class, we have each student read weather information from all of the other students' stations from the cloud and display that information locally as well. The CapSense buttons are used to control which weather station's weather is displayed. Button zero displays the local weather station's weather. Button one displays the previous station's weather. Button two displays the next station's weather. And button three jumps forward by 10 stations. Finally, there is a UART user interface that allows more detailed control. You can enter a question mark to see a list of all of the commands. One especially useful command is X, which will print the current state of all of the weather stations that are known to exist. I'm not gonna go through the firmware for this project since we want you to use this as an exercise to practice your skills in building IoT devices. Additional details about the project can be found in the manual for lesson eight. The solution firmware is provided along with the other exercise solutions, but I would recommend that you attempt to do this project on your own first without looking at the solution to see how well you understand each of the lessons. If you do want to try out the solution project, you will have to get your own certificates since we don't provide these certificates that we use in the AWS class. You have now reached the end of Cypress Academy Wicked Wi-Fi 101. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot about the world of IoT and Wicked. It's been an amazing learning experience for me building this material, and I'd like to thank a lot of great people, including Greg Landry and Vikram Ramana and Mike Noel and James Doherty. You guys are great. As my friends in Boston would say, it's wicked cool. As always, you can post your comments and questions in our Wi-Fi developer community, or you're welcome to email me at alanhaws at cypress.com or tweet me at askiotexpert. Thank you. <laughs>